All right, so I finally went ahead and 3D printed a case for the driver board. And well, this is it right here. Basically, uh, I mean, I, I made a lot of mistakes. For one, I measured the distance of the holes and the board wrong, and then my design was all weird because originally I had I had made some internal posts that were not where the board would just slide in, but since the measurement was wrong, uh, they didn't line up, and I really didn't want to reprint this whole thing because it took a long time, so I just ripped them off and I drilled some holes through which I, I uh, drove some plastic uh, little M3 screwdrivers and stuff. And, uh, oops. And um, so yeah, so I kind of hacked that together to make it work. Um, so here's the uh, holes for the power and the USB. Um, some vents, I mean, not really that functional they should have been up here if anything anyways and these are just some magnets some earth magnets that I uh, I made a little circle with a, a little cut out in there in the infusion 360 so the magnets magnets could go in there and then uh, I have some more magnets here this is the case and uh, I I did it so that you can't put it on the wrong way because one magnet will always be won't work so if it, it, it will basically it, it doesn't it doesn't go on the wrong way it'll only go there's always like something will not line up not until you do it the right way at which point it just clicks together um and then these are just some stuff i printed out also to stick in there and uh well there it is basically and it's silly because this is supposed to be the case for the board which i'm going to stink in the back of, of of this but i didn't print i didn't add any mounting solution to it i was so stuck on just designing the case and measuring which i got all wrong and then i didn't actually incorporate a mounting solution for it so um ultimately um I'm not sure, I'll probably put some double-sided tape and just stick it back there or something. Um, and then all of these are gonna go in here for the y, uh, X, Y, and Z. And here's another funny thing, cause this whole project was a mess. Here's the labels for laser and spindle. Uh, the funny thing, it's, it's backwards. This is the connection for the spindle and this is the connection for the laser. But again, I don't feel like reprinting anything, so. There's that. Um, these are labeled properly, so that's fine. Um, this is open because I need uh, one of the pins in here for auto leveling. And uh, I mean, you know, it's functional, so it serves its purpose, to, I guess, to protect the board and to just look neater. And uh, actually, this is gonna it's gonna go like this because the connections all down here. So. It's gonna get plugged in there. These will go in here, so it looks good. And um, I'll just uh, find a way to stick it up here because it was really silly that I didn't incorporate anything. I mean, eventually I might get around to redoing it, but at this point I want the machine to be, uh, you know, useful this weekend. So I'm not gonna mess with this anymore. That's that, at least for now. So yep, there you have it. I'm still using my phone camera, so eventually I'll get a nice little setup. I've been using this sort of uh, glue that gets white and weird, and I just kind of, once it dries, I could just rip that off. But I just glued these pieces in there, so I don't want to rip anything off yet. But that's that. There you go.